Hi, welcome to IndianExpress.com. Today we are discussing the induction of Tejas, the light combat aircraft which was inducted into the Indian Air Force today. I have with, the, I have with me Sushant who is going to talk about it. Sushant, this is this the first indigenous aircraft which has been inducted into the Air Force? No, interestingly it is not the first indigenous aircraft to be inducted into the Indian Air Force. In the 1950s, just after independence, in the Nehru took a plan and started to started the design and production of, a, of an indigenous aircraft. That aircraft in, got into service in 1967. It was called HF-24 Marut. And this Marut aircraft, two squadrons of Marut aircraft actually participated in the 1971 war, even in the famous Battle of Longewala in Rajasthan, which was featured in the film Border. And another squadron was inducted in 1973. And they remained in service till 1983 when they were decommissioned out of the Indian Air Force. And in 1983, this, the project for Tejas LCA started. So basically, the government started the planning of the planning phase of the project in 1983. Why do you think it took so long for the uh, for the induction of the aircraft? See, there are many issues as to why it took so long for the induction of the aircraft. One is India had already moved on to to importing various aircrafts like the MiGs and the Jaguars and the Mirages, and so there was no political push to uh, to, to to the Tejas project. Uh, secondly, the funding for the Tejas project started only only in the early 90s and after the funding started, the first prototype flew in 2001, which is not really that much of a time frame. It is post 2001, after the first prototype flew, that the Indian Air Force had various objections uh, with, the, with, the, with the Tejas aircraft. And this was primarily due to lack of coordination between the various stakeholders, the design, the production and the user. And perhaps a better political hand holding, a more political push would have allowed us to overcome this problem and of course the second problem is the is the lack of technological base in India we don't have the kind of technological base or the aerospace industry eco ecosystem which would have allowed us to make the aircraft easily so finally going forward are there any causes of concern that we have to look about I think you know while this is a day for day of celebration there are serious causes of concern as you know as of now only two aircraft have been handed over to the Indian Air Force uh, as of now the HAL's capacity to produce aircraft is limited they plan to produce 16 aircraft per year until the time they don't reach that capacity it will be very difficult to uh, uh, to add, to make to to supply the aircraft as per the as per the plan as per the IAF needs it moreover these aircraft the first 20 aircraft come without the final operational clearance that means they cannot do everything that they're supposed to that they're supposed to do the next 20 will have the final operational clearance and after that the next 80 will actually be Tejas Mark 1 Alpha which is an improved version now that improved version is still on the design board so we really have a long way to go before we get the full quantum of aircrafts within the right time frame and the next set of developed aircrafts as we are seeking for. Well, thank you, Sushant, for your input. Thank, thank you. you for watching. Thank you.